Let's focus on the final objective of this chapter, format and modify text by using functions. You can download this file at srv.ms forward slash capital L capital G S capital C capital L E. So we're practicing text functions here. And what I see here is some first name, last names. These are famous comedians. And we have some phone numbers and their favorite food. So I'm going to file by their last name. Imagine we have a bunch of file folders or some folders by A, B, C, D, E's. And we're going to find the first letter of this, um, first, this um, last name here. So I'm going to click in this box and I'm going to type in equals. And I'm going to use the function called left. L E F T left bracket and I have a hint here the text is going to be here so I'm left clicking on a2 comma the number of characters I want I want the number of chars is going to be one I only want the first character so I'm going to close that bracket and press enter and you can see that we're filing by the letter C let me just uh, center this column you can see it better so the nice thing is that we can use autofill if I just move my mouse to the bottom right corner and drag it down and you can see that Excel automatically uh, in a smart way finds the the first character of uh, this last name which happens to be the, the file folder we're gonna uh, just to name this by the first letter of the last name let's try the same thing with phone numbers so the location is going to be the area code so we want to know where our customers are coming from so i'm going to type in equals and we want again the left the left bracket the text happens to be this phone number comma the number of characters we want is going to be three i'm going to close that bracket and press enter and you can see that we have the area code just going to center this as well and we can use autofill to uh, complete this and you can see we have it uh, very quickly now what if the phone number was uh, like this so let me just change it to the traditional bracket area code and let's uh, see how we could fix this so assuming that uh, there is no space between the bracket and the number five here, I'm going to use the function called mid. So here I'm going to type in equals mid. It's going to return the characters from the middle of the string. Bracket. The text happens to be this phone number here. So I'm just going to uh, cl click it down here and then push the up arrow. So I'm selecting the right cell or D2. Let me just uh, press escape and try this one more time here. So equals mid bracket. This is my text, comma. The, uh, the start number happens to be two because I don't want the first bracket. I just want the number two, comma. The number of characters I want is going to be three. So let's close the bracket and press enter. And we get 212. So once again, we use the function called mid, which takes this text found in D2, this phone number, I'm going to start at position 2. The first character is position 1. The second character is position 2. So we're starting here. And we're going to take 1, 2, 3 characters. That's what the mid does. So as you, can, as you can see, I just changed all these area codes to be this bracket style. And I'm going to take this mid function. And I'm going to use autofill to just uh, find the rest of these cool area codes. And now let's write a nice sentence here. So what I have here in notes is I'm gonna let's make this a bit bigger by just dragging between G and H here. And I'm gonna write a nice sentence here. I'm gonna say so we're gonna practice adding text together. The word adding is considered concatenation. So we're gonna use the function called concatenate. So we have to type in equals because we're using a function concatenate concatenate join several text strings and I'm going to join George comma and I'm going to 
put up within double quotes with a space here loves double quote comma and then I'm gonna click on here which is his favorite food which is ice cream so there's my end bracket so we're gonna concatenate these three strings and by the way we could have place more commas if we want to combine or concatenate even more strings. I'm going to press enter and you can see that we have George loves ice cream and because I put that space there the space is there but here there's no space so let's make sure that we put a space also here in the formula bar after the S as well. So notice how we have this nice text using the concatenate function and similarly um, we don't even need to use the concatenate function uh, by the way if you use autofill you can see that uh, Excel very smartly figures out the rest as well so another way besides using the concatenate function is to simply say equals the first name George and percent symbol does the same thing and percent if I type in loves and percent click on here ice cream of course there's no spaces so what we get is George loves ice cream and so I'm just gonna go back up here put some spaces within the, the double quotes and when you do when you press enter we have a very nice result George loves ice cream and we can even uh, drag this uh, formula and uh, make it autofill so these text functions are very useful for manipulating uh, results just the way you want it to, to be. We don't have to use concatenate. We can even use uh, the uh, uh, ampersand symbol. Uh, the right function is the opposite of left. Instead of taking the, the first x left characters, it takes the first x right characters. Uh, we used mid already. And let's try upper. Let's see what upper does. If I say equals upper bracket and I click on this text here, press enter, you can see that we get the uh, text all in caps, caps locks. And if we say equals lower bracket, this text here, you can see that everything becomes lowercase. And finally, let's take a look at the trim function here. Uh, what it does here equals trim it removes all spaces from a text string except for single spaces between words so if I say equals trim this phrase here nothing happens because we already have single spaces between words however if I type in some text here with lots of lots of spaces if I say equals trim bracket and this phrase here and I press enter you can see that it cleans up all those extra junky spaces and sometimes you get text with unnecessary spaces and trim can clean up very nicely so you now have the power to clean up text you have the power to slice and dice text from the left the middle the right you can uh, make text in capitals as well as in lower cases and also piece together all this text Great job on completing this chapter, you're now you're evolving to become an Excel ninja.